Dear faithful, today is the feast day of St. Louis de Marillac, and she is an important saint uh, at, here at St. Gertrude the Great because it was she, St. Louis, who, together with St. Vincent de Paul, established the Daughters of Charity, a, 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 a religious order for uh, women and ladies, uh, which is the main example of our oblate order. St. Louise was born and raised in France, and she lived in the 1600s. In the time of her youth, she had thought about becoming a Capuchin uh, sister, but because her health uh, was too weak, she consented to marry a fine uh, gentleman with a very distinguished uh, career. And in her the youth and in her time seen matrimony, St. Louis often had anxieties and scruples. She had to suffer through periods of depression when her soul was plagued with aridity and even with doubts. But it was her good fortune to make the acquaintance of St. Francis de Sales, who spent some months in Paris and, uh, during the early 1600s. And from St. Francis de Sales, St. Louis received the wisest and most sympathetic of guidance. Under a good spiritual director, that, that of St. Francis de Sales, her, uh, she learned to live with her scruples and depression, always counting on the great grace, mercy, and forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Soon after the death of her, her husband, St. Louis met another saint, this time St. Vincent de Paul, and together these two established the Daughters of Charity. They, they were a group of girls and young ladies who pledged themselves to help the priests, mainly the parish priests, of taking care of the pastoral ministry, educating the poor, especially the girls, teaching them to read, the teaching them their catechism, and also nursing and taking care of the sick. The Daughters of Charity did immense amount of good all throughout uh, France and later on all throughout the world. Their very distinctive dress, which you can see, for example, in the images of St. Catherine Labore, was originally just a simple peasant uh, girl's uh, dress because the Daughters of Charity didn't uh, want to make a big name for themselves or even established a religious order. They simply wanted to do acts of charity under the supervision of priests who they always pledged to help in the spirit of what would later be called Catholic action. And St. Louis de Marillac was always the great and trusty companion and help of St. Vincent de Paul. She took many girls in her own home, taught them in the spirit of penance, prayer, and discipline so that they would be ready and prepared to go to the cities, to the countryside, wherever they were needed in uh, helping to uh, train the children and helping to administer the sick. This was truly a vocation for Saint uh, Louise, and she fulfilled all these duties, not because she had to, because she was a relatively wealthy widow, but she did all these good things, helping St. Vincent out of charity and out of love to Jesus and uh, Mary. And when she lay dying, uh, she used to say to her uh, grievous, uh, grieving sisters always this, be diligent in serving the poor, love the poor, honor them, my children, as you would honor Christ himself. What a great example for us is this great saint, St. Louis de Marillac. If 
we love God as we should because he's our redeemer, we must always love our neighbor as well. The great charity, love, and forgiveness of Jesus Christ is so uh, big, it uh, expands to all the world and to all people. So certainly we can never be selective in our acts of love, charity, and forgiveness. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.